What are some updates in the city of Monroe? Joining us this morning is Monroe Mayor Friday Ellis. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Had a nice relaxing weekend with the family in New Orleans this weekend. So yeah, come back refreshed. That's good. Yes. Always good to feel refreshed. <laughs> well, you marked two years in office last week. Talk about some of the highlights in the city over the last two years. Yeah, uh, I think about it. it just doesn't seem like two years and other days it feels like 10 but uh, you know some of the things I'm most proud of and I always talk about it is just the relationships that are being built in our community uh, you see all the cleanups you see all the backpack drives or the uh, how to get involved to get in help you know uh, our community is really coming together and uniting and I, I, I love that um, as far as a I guess a city project I'm really proud of um, the purchase of the candy company we talked about it last time uh, I think that with between that and the marine it's really going to transform um, the Washita River. It's really going to transform downtown Monroe uh, and really just help uh, with all the other like culture creators and all the entrepreneurs that are downtown already. We'll be on the lookout for those for sure. I'm excited yes. about them. <laughs> they sound exciting. Every time you say it, I'm like, oh. Oh, I know, I know. We all kind of envision what our city could be, right? And um, I think uh, it's cool to see it come together. Definitely. Well, you're going to be speaking at the Monroe Chamber of Local Government event today. Give us yep. a little brief highlight on what the audience can expect. Yeah, so we're, you know, talking all the not so fun stuff like capital infrastructure, uh, sewer projects, water projects, road projects, things like that that our city's uh, going through right now. Uh, you know, some of the ways that we're streamlining the permitting process right now, MyGov just launched its uh, online way for you to open a business or pull a permit. Uh, and so we're, we're really excited about a few of those, but not to give too much away today. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. You got to show up. Yes. <laughs> well, I lastly, I hear there is a back to school drive going yes. on. It is July, but you know, we're almost back to school. That's right. What are some details and how can people help out? Uh, so, yeah. So get in touch with us through our social media or call us 329-2227. Uh, uh, we're just uh, every single year Monroe Fire Department, Monroe PD. Uh, they, they raise uh, dollars and they drive, have school supply drives for kids uh, to start school because, you know, it's always fun to start with the new uh, uh, supplies. Uh, they have trapper keepers back out there, everybody. Trapper keepers. Those were the things, right? So anyway, get the supplies for the kids. Uh, help them start the school right, you know. And also, you know, teachers are always spending money and mm -hmm. having, having to spend money on buying supplies. Let's give them a break. Let's all lend a hand and uh, go out there and raise some money. Great. Well, Mayor Ellis, thank you for being with us this morning. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, thank you. Well